What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy video. Today we're going to go over the SSR selector ticket and who you guys should pick from it. Now before you guys even worry about picking somebody from that SSR selector ticket, hear me out. Make sure you do your first 80 summons on the standard banner. Why do you need to do that? Well, you get two guaranteed SSR units, not just one the very first time you go through that standard banner. You get one at 30 and one at 80. Once you do that, you'll hopefully have two different SSR units, and then you'll be able to build a full squad by pull it, picking out the third unit that will specifically fit with that team comp. Now, if you only got one, that's perfectly fine too. It's not a big deal. We could still work with it. Now, with that said, who will be our first pick unit for everyone? Well, in this game, there's a unit, there's a unit type called shield breakers that are really, really strong at breaking shields and Unfortunately or fortunately, there's only three really good shield breakers in the game right now. And that is going to be our first choice. So King, Meryl, and Huma. All three of these are shield breaker units that will destroy shields faster than any other unit in the game currently. Now with that said, why is that so important? Why is that the first pick over like a DPS unit? In most games you want to pick a DPS unit, right? Well, in Tower of Fantasy, if a unit has a shield they're going to be negating 50% damage. So say you Kamehameha somebody for a million damage, they're only going to take 500,000, so they're going to take half damage. And that is huge. No matter how many DPS units you have, if you don't have a shield break unit, you will be doing it half as fast as normal. So with that in mind, make sure you keep at least one shield break unit on your squad at all times. So who are our choices for shield breakers in this game? We have King, Meryl, and Huma. Now, King, he is the best PvE shield break unit in the game. If you plan on focusing primarily on PvE, you want to do good damage, and you want to try to clear those Abyss Floors the fastest, King is going to be your number one choice. He's going to be most likely the choice I pick from my SSR selector ticket as well. Now, if you don't want King, you have a second choice in Meryl. Meryl is very, very good at PvP. She's a little bit tankier than King as well, so if you're not as good at dodging or you just want to play a tankier playstyle, you can go with Meryl as well. Now the third option we have is Huma. Huma is very unique compared to the other two. She comes with a shield that transforms into like a switch axe. She's actually really cool and one of my favorite units as well. Her attacks are very strong on AoE and she has one of the only taunts that can hold aggro on bosses. So with that in mind, if you want to play a tank unit, Huma's the only one in the game currently that can do that stuff for you. So those are your three choices for the first pick. I recommend just picking one of those units. You don't need to have a second one. You just want at least one. So if you focus primarily on PvE, go ahead and pick King. If you focus primarily on PvP, then pick Meryl. If you don't really care about being the best in either of those two and you just want to be a support tanky, tanky unit for your friends, then go with Huma. Now with that said, say we already pulled one of those units. Say we already have a King, we already have a Meryl, or we already have a Huma. Now we want to move on down to our second pick. Our second pick unit is going to be Samir. And only Samir. Samir is by far the best DPS in the game currently, and like I said, it doesn't matter if your Samir does a million damage, without a shield break unit she does no damage. So that's why you need to make sure you have a shield break unit to pair with her. So with that said, she is the second pick unit. And honestly the third pick unit is pretty much up to you. It's not too important on the third choice. In my opinion these four units right here are the best units in the game. Now if you want to be more future proof then Subasa might be a unit that you want to pick. She's not currently insanely good at anything. You're going to need constellations for her to be really good. But she's one of the only units that will stick around with you late game. So you can go ahead and keep her because once she gets higher constellation, she's just a nice flat 15% damage boost. Now we also have Shiro who is also a free pick. She's whatever. She's not super amazing. She's pretty fun to use and she helps break shields a little bit faster and like I said, that is important, so 
maybe that's something you're interested in. And if you want to play healer, then Coco or Zero would be your choices. They're both healers. I believe Coco is more of the traditional style healer, and Zero is more of the shielder type of healer. And last but not least is Crow. And Crow... Crow's probably the second best DPS unit in the game, but I feel like he's pretty much outclassed by Samir. And his playstyle is not really that fun to me. Like, Crow's playstyle is jump up and dash down, and jump up and dash down. That's pretty much all you're doing with him. So, I don't really recommend Crow. So, again, to go over it again real quickly, make sure you have one of the three first pick units. If you don't have any of those three, well then that's your choice right there. It makes it nice and simple. Make sure you have at least one of those three. And again, we'll go over it one last time. King for PvE, Meryl for PvP, or Huma for just wanting to be a support tanky unit. If you have any of those three units, I recommend going on down to the second pick, which is your DPS, which is Samir, who's the best DPS in the game. Once you have Samir and a Shield Breaker, you're pretty much set, to be honest. Your third unit is a flex unit. You can honestly fit whoever you want in there. So you could go ahead and pick anything that you want. If I had to choose and I had nothing else, I might even not honestly pick another one of those first pick units, maybe even Huma as my third choice. The, th the third choice after that is pretty much up to you. If I had to choose, I would honestly choose another first pick because I think they're a lot more useful because there are some type of bosses that resist specific types of elements. For example, Meryl is an ice unit. There are units that have ice shields, so she'll do a little bit less damage to that. And likewise for King. King is a fire unit, so he might do a little bit less damage on those fire shields. So maybe picking King, Meryl, and Samir would be really good for you. Maybe not. Honestly, at the end of the day, it's up to you. Having a healer, also very nice for the raids and stuff like that. So the third one's a nice free pick. As long as you've got a shield breaker and a DPS, you're set. And with all that said, if you got unlucky, like I said, and you got, say, let's say you got Crow two times, or no, let's let's say we got, say we got Shiro two times or Coco two times. So someone who's neither a DPS or a shield breaker, then who would you recommend? I would recommend King solely because King is a good DPS and a good shield breaker. So if you got unlucky and you got all free pick units, then go with King in my opinion. That way King can just carry you through the early game because he does really good damage and really good shield break. So he could satisfy the DPS and the shield break slot on your team. Now, with all that said, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. and. If I helped you out at all with your SSR selector ticket, feel free to hit me up with a subscribe and I'll be coming out with more Tower of Fantasy videos. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.